Luke wrote the most powerful story about Jesus. To be precise, the man wrote 24 chapters about Jesus. And it was exactly 70 years after Jesus had ascended into the heavens. But Jesus and Luke, we don't see any relationship they had in person. Luke was not Jesus' disciple. According to me, I would have expected Zacchaeus to write a book about Jesus. We would have had the gospel according to Zacchaeus because of the great things and the salvation that Jesus brought into his house. I would have expected the woman with the issue of blood to write at least two verses. You don't need a chapter. Two verses about Jesus that, wow, that man was powerful. I would have expected Bartimaeus. We would have had the book according to the gospel according to Bartimaeus. He would have wrote at least five verses. We were not expecting much about him. He would have said, that man, he found me blind. And now I can see. But we don't see any book about Bartimaeus. Even in the lost books, there is no book. Even those who said that there were books that were hidden. There is no evidence that Bartimaeus wrote anything about Jesus. I came to peace in my mind many years ago that you will be surprised that the people you expect to tell your story will vanish out of your life. But God will always bring a man that will tell your story. I did not hear what I say. There are some people that you are investing time in, investing money in, investing energy in, and tomorrow they will actually write a bad story about you. But there will be a look who will come from Uganda, from Congo, from China, from New York. There is a look. There is a look. Somebody, there is a look. Keep smiling. Stop complaining about the woman that left you in the house. Stop complaining about the man that loved you in 1998. You are still complaining about the same man. You are still complaining. Look, to be the one writing, but Myers, to all I did for you, I found you by the roadside. I opened your eyes and you did not even say anything. Leave people alone. People are people. But our God will always, he who knows the beginning, and he knows the end. He knows the right people you need in order to finish your vision in power. Let me speak to somebody. Your look will locate you this way. Ah, you did not hear the prophetic word. I said the look of your life will locate your address this month. I don't care how many people have disappointed you, how many people have treated you bad, I don't care how many people that have, uh, have left you, those that, I've had many people that have helped, that I help, you know when you help somebody, you know, yes, we, ble we get the blessing from the Lord, but let's be realistic, when you bless somebody at least, you expect them to, at least to be good to your children. Like you see, when David helped Jonathan, when David became king, he came and said, is there anyone left among the children of uh, Jonathan that I, I may show grace and mercy to that man? And then somebody said, there is Mephibosheth in Lodabar. And David helped the man. So if you are a Jonathan, and really David does not help your Mephibosheth, there's something wrong. But let me speak to you. Even if David doesn't remember you, there will be a look. There will be a look. Ah, I don't know who my part. I said there will be a look. There's a look. There is a man. You will not even be able to pronounce his name very well. But he will be 
so much of a blessing than your siblings some of you even you don't have a relationship you, you, you are, yes, you have the relationship with your siblings, but you don't have a friendship. You know, there is a difference between having a relationship and having a friendship. We can be related. There are many people that you can be even related to your wife. You are related, but you are not friends. Uh, am I talking to somebody? You can, be, you can be related to your sisters and brothers, but in actual sense, you are not friends. There's nothing they've done in your life. Instead of complaining, today there is an anointing in this house. There is a man that the Lord is bringing towards your address that will love you even more than your sisters and brothers. I've seen it in my life. I have seen it in my life that what my brothers cannot do, what my sisters did not do, what even my mother did not do, the look that God brought. <laughs> I speak divine connection. I speak divine connection. I speak divine connection. I speak divine connection. Name of Jesus. The, the, there is a man that Jesus delivered from over a thousand demons. We don't know his name. Jesus found him. The man was born in deep witchcraft. Jesus delivered him. And Jesus actually gave him the mandate. He said, go back to your village and testify. The man disappeared from scriptures. We cannot even locate him. Even in the letters of Paul, the man disappeared. Look at the ten lepers. Look at the ten lepers. Yes, the Bible says they came back and gave thanks. And when they gave thanks, they got delivered. But we don't see their testimony. People love whispering your victories and then shout your downfalls. But let me speak to somebody this evening. Divine location. Divine direction. Divine connection divine purpose divine favor will be your portion this week at the right time in the right place you will meet a man that will change the life story about you will meet a man that will change your life story in the mighty name of Jesus I prophesy as a prophet of God your story will not vanish your good works will not vanish in the air. There will be a man that will remember you. You will be remembered in the name of Jesus. Somebody lift up their two hands and say, I receive favor. The name of Jesus. You need a look. Is there anybody in this place that needs a look? Or you are okay with your Nathaniel's and Batman and the, the Bartholomew's? We, 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 there's no even book of about Bartholomew.